What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard here on Ed Releaseman channel, of course. It's your boy Ed, coming back from a ten and a half hour shift. God, work sucks sometimes, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, what is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna pretty much go over the free LMS challenge. Uh, I know a lot of people did this challenge because, you know, we, they announced the end of the tier. I figured I would do a free one just to see what it was like. Now, deep down, this LMS was much easier compared to other LMSs and in its different ways. Now, in the old LMS, 47 was your weak point. In this LMS, 64 was the weak point. But you could imagine how easy it was because at that point you had 63 levels where you could gain so much points possible and you only needed one block one reveal for 64 levels and then from 47 after you completed that you got you had two reveals blocks from 48 to 73 which of course from 67 to 73 was hell and then in this version you had hell from 77 78 and 79 so it went way back and then you had three reveals at level 80 and then it was hell from 90 i guess 91 to 100 that would be your hell which is one two three obstacles on the board with three reveal three blocks so the points went way higher than usual I know back in the day, 500,000 got you in the top 200. And this one, 500,000 got you like a, in rank 1K, I'd say. So LMS changed completely. It made it easier for free players, but also made it kind of hard because you had to grind a lot more. And, you know, I grinded my ass off. I got six Goliath, uh, six Goliath pulls, and I got one pull from a pack when I was playing. Uh, with a milestone 12 pack now I'll go ahead and show you everything I pulled in this because a lot of it were new cards I really didn't get that many pros so I pulled a Cesaro that was one he was the last pull I got uh, I also pulled a Charlotte Flair still haven't proed it yet of course because screw that I pulled me a Kofi Kingston, which was meh, whatever. Didn't really care. There's the Cesaro that I pulled, that one. I pulled Shayna Blazer. Yay, Shayna. I pulled me Asuka. <laughs> Great, more divas, right? Charlotte, Shayna, Asuka. Who can go wrong with that? I'm not mad. Uh, we got Kyle O'Reilly as our new fusion. I guaranteed missed someone. I got Bray Wyatt in the pack. I think that's all seven, if I remember correctly. Unless I'm missing one that I do not know, but I think that's all seven that were relevant. So, yeah, and I don't remember proing any cards. And a lot of people said, Ed, you had it easy because your deck was high strength and whatnot. And to be fair, it was. This was my deck. My weakest card was Seth Rollins. But, you know, you still had to force close because out of the eight males, I had six males at 295k to 290, 295. So they were still high up there. That could They could beat Triple H. They could beat AJ. They could beat The Rock. They could beat Seth Rollins. And, you know, the Divas were weak. Most two of them were good decently. Then two of them were semi-weak, like 270K, 260. So they really didn't bother me. But when you grind really hard and earn your deck, this is what you get. You get an easier route to the end, but you still had to beat the obstacles. I got up to Arena 94 just fine. Uh, I didn't play, like, the last three to four hours because work got involved. I could have gotten a higher score, maybe, if I did, but just not enough time when I had work to come up. And I slept well this entire weekend. 
So here is the portrait pack. This this was a different picture when I looked on it. This was not the same picture. Did they change it? That was not the picture when I had it on my phone earlier. Okay, that's that's better than the other picture I saw when he was younger. But okay, um, that's weird. So let's go ahead and claim this Rainy or I'll also probably read your messages. Uh, we got a Goliath pack here. I didn't bother claiming it, so we'll claim it now. It's a crappy pack anyway. How many fucking Shawn Michaels are we freaking going to get? I swear to God, every freaking video now, it's Shawn fucking Michaels. All right. So we finished rank 164. 819,685 points completely free. Now, I did spend 60, uh, 60 credits total from free packs that I did get. I still have 37 credits left over. But yeah, I, I didn't spend a dime on this. And I had some people on Twitter hating on me saying, Ed, you're lying, you're a sack of shit. You know... And then I posted evidence like I haven't bought credits since Monday when team event was happening for Team Ring Dom. Like, like what more do you want from me? You know, and I had I showed them that I had the pack in the store still, the booster pack. I didn't buy any of that. And you know, you know what? People are gonna be mad at you because he's like, oh, you know, you gotta show me proof. I really can't show you proof. You pretty much need to take my word. And the evidence there, pretty much. You don't see me have any credits bought for until on Monday. Like, like I'm smart. I know how to play LMS. I am the very smart person when it comes to LMS. It's so easy to play. And it's also difficult at times. But, you know, when it came to the hard stages, I know how to play the hard stages to a st strategic way. Like, 64 took me one try. I think the longest amounts was 79, and that was about six or seven attempts. That was the the most attempts I had. 91 was in one shot. 92 was in one shot. 93 was two shots. 94 was my last arena. I, I didn't finish it, but it's easy if you know how to play it correctly. It's very easy. So to all the haters who don't believe me, how was your Randy Orton? Because you probably paid $30, and mine's better. Hate on me more. Go right ahead. I didn't spend a fucking penny. So I'm actually ecstatic. And yes, I I sacrificed a lot of gameplay. Like, I did not play Fortnite for, like, a couple of days. I didn't do some things. But you know what? At the end of the day, I got a free Randy Orton guard. And I got ranked 160 freaking 4. And I'm happy with this. Because this card is going to be better than a full heroic pro. After trained up. It's actually very close to my Triple H. Oh, it's a new card. Well, fuck me. I'll read you guys' messages in a minute. And then, you know, if I wanted a purple card, I could have had a purple card. If I was spending a lot of money, I would have had a purple card. I spent 30k credits on this Roman Reigns. Probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my fucking life. But I did it. I spent close to 15k on this Ric Flair. Half of what Roman was, but it wasn't that bad compared to Roman, of course, but you know. So, getting this card at rank 164 is good in my eyes. You know, it's not the most amazing card in the world. There's 163, well, not 163, but it's like 150 better Randys out there than mine. I forgot what the cutoff point was. I think it was 147. So 147 Randys are better than mine. Let's see what image we can go with. I have a lot of Randy Orton images, and I mean a lot. I wonder how this one looks on the card. It looks weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, man. We do have the PCC versions, which is nice. You know, PCC, the thing that you I did for free all the time, too? All right, that Randy Orton doesn't look that bad either. It looks okay. The portrait one looks looks good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I did see the SummerSlam one look good. Let's see how the throwback looks decent, but eh, eh. <laughs> uh, 
of course, everyone's favorite Randy Orton, probably going to be the ultimate, which looks okay, but the white glow is not great on this card. Then we got the old school PCC image, which is just basic, but, you know, something about it, it just seems a little off. I really don't know what to go with. I think this one looks the best, but it's very common out there. So if, if I had to make a decision, I'd probably go with the Portrait or the Randy Orton PCC one. We'll stick with this one for now. And now let's level it up, pretty much. Let's go ahead and level this bitch up. Uh, let's see, who can we get rid of that I do not care about? Well, we can get rid of those three cards we just got in that damn pack. That's for damn sure. And let's throw in, uh, Matt Hardy as well. So, I think stat-wise, we're looking around 320-something K after completed, completed, done. Looking at 320-something. So let's go ahead and level up Randy Orton, please. You can see we got a lot of good live cars in there. All right, level up. Actually, man, I don't even need to get rid of my Hardy. This might actually just do it because I got so much cards. There we go. So we're gonna add the tokens. Do 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 do. I'm going to go full five on these because there's no point of adding toughness. He gets beat by uh, most people. Besides, I think Ric Flair is the only one he doesn't lose to. But, uh, actually, could I, should I go Charisma? I'm not going to make my choice yet on that one. But I will go Power and Speed. You have no choice to do with that one. And we're already at 320. And he's going to go up another four-something thousand points. So it'll be 324. Now let's add momentum on him just for the fun of it. Three forty. Three forty-one. So it's going to be better than a heroic full pro. Because our Heroic Full Pro is around 338, 330, uh, 337. So I'm ecstatic. I pretty much got a above average Heroic card for the price of nothing. And I'm very ecstatic. I'm very happy with that. You know, I would. I think I could have done better rank-wise. But, you know, things just got in the way. I slept more than I should have. I slept like 30 hours during the event. So that kind of cost me some time. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with it. So let me go ahead and read messages to end this video off because I don't I know this video is already long as shit. We're at 13 minutes, uh, so I'm just gonna read the messages. I'm not gonna answer a country team. Uh, hello, can you tell me how to download Supercard on PC? Blue Stacks, bro. Bluestacks.com. Hello, just wanted to say cheers for the videos and keep them coming. I love you, Goonie fan. Goonie fan's a great guy, man. Uh, Space Bro, I'm Goliath Plus Plus. Uh, I think I'm gay. Should I buy two giant Planet of the Store? Save them up for a Pro Titan. I don't know, man, but if you. We'll see. Larry Videos, whereabouts on when are you looking to get ranked? I was hoping to get ranked top 300, and I got there, so I'm happy with that. Big fan. Thank you so much, Daniel. Brian. Uh, get the. Uh, I don't know what that is, but yes, there is a new game probably coming out. Who knows? So, uh, Ed Nation, thank you so much, Big Mac. Love you, bro. Hi, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. I saw you, uh, I saw you updated video Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, right? Of course, Rigby. Today's Monday, so today's a new video. I thought you would not reply. Good to see that. No problem, man. I'm going to reply to you again. Uh, I gave you a heart. You gave me a thing. Oh, these are messages I've ever already thing. Oh, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I wish I could have your team, but you know, I don't have those. Uh, the bad guy, you probably saw the video, Cosmic Jelly, big fan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thanks for a shout out. You guys, want to... oh, nice, nice, nice. Good job, Brady Allen. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. So, I, so, all the haters out there who say I don't believe you, believe whatever the fuck you want. Uh, at the end of the day, I didn't spend a damn penny, I'm happy with that. 
And if you spend money because, you know, your deck was unbalanced, whatnot, I can understand that. And, you know, if you if you didn't grind as hard like, as I did, I can understand that. You had a more better life than I did for the weekend. But, you know, don't come at me hating me because I got a good rank. Uh, especially to that guy on fucking Twitter who was, like, freaking harassing me, harassing other people as well. This is the same. And then this guy, I was looking through his tweets, and this guy's like, Ava Marie was one of my favorites. When Ava Marie's one of your favorites, you have a fucking problem. Just saying, man. But you know what? We'll end it there, guys. I hope you all enjoy this. To everyone out there, t getting a good card in LMS for free is possible. All you need to do is put in the work and play LMS as smart as possible. How do you play it smart? Try to get all the points you can. Pull the obstacles early. Go on the streaks. And that's pretty much it. And then when it comes to the hard levels... My strategy works. It's like sometimes you might get stuck, but usually four to five times. Eventually, this it's just gonna go in your favor, because you know that's how the way it is. Like you won't get ten times in a row when that thing doesn't work. It doesn't really happen like that. I think, like I said, six times or seven times for uh, seventy nine, and then the higher up you go in the arenas, the easier it gets because there's so much more obstacles. Sixty four and seventy nine are the two hardest ones. Once you pass that. It's easy from there. So take my strategy and that to consideration when you play the next LMS in SummerSlam tier. And that's what we're going to be right now, coming up on Wednesday probably, SummerSlam tier. So thank you guys once again for watching. I appreciate it. We will see you guys next time. Take care. Be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.